Hey everyone, so in this video I thought I would do a review and demonstration of my Scott's 20 inch classic push wheel mower. I'll talk about the specs of the mower, I'll talk about reasons why I prefer a push wheel mower, I'll go over one drawback, and then lastly I'll get it out into the yard so you can see it in action. So first off, here's the 20 inch classic push reel mower. I've gone ahead and linked it in the description of this video. You'll see it's got a great compact design. There's no motor, which means there's no gas, there's no electric cords, and it's very low maintenance. Looking at the dimensions of the mower, it's about 52 inches tall from the hand grip down to the base. It's about 28 inches wide from wheel to wheel and then it's about 18 inches deep from front to back. This mower was very easy to assemble out of the box. The handle is basically attached to the base here with a clip on each side. Then nuts and bolts are used to attach the top part of the handle to the base of the handle. And then lastly, those same type of nuts and bolts were used to attach the grip to the handle. Looking at the cutting mechanism here, you'll see there are five heat-treated alloy steel blades. There's a sixth blade here across the bottom. As the mower is pushed forward, these five blades spin across that lower blade, cutting the grass. This cut is a lot like scissors through paper. It's very sharp, very precise, very clean. Unlike a rotary mower that tears at the grass blades, leaving the ends ragged and more prone to lawn disease, the benefit here of the push reel mower is that sharp, clean cut, leaving your lawn in a better spot to resist disease. When it comes to regular maintenance, it's really easy. The biggest concern is rust. So after each use, I wipe down the blades with a paper towel and WD-40, and then I spray WD-40 on any of the moving parts. The mower has the ability to adjust the cutting height from between one inch to three inches. It's really simple, it's pretty easy. I'm gonna try to do it with one hand. It's probably not gonna be as graceful, but you basically pop out this lever and then you slide it to the desired cutting height. Just make sure that whatever you do to this side, you go ahead and do to the other. Otherwise the cutting deck will be uneven and your lawn will be cut unevenly. The mower also has an optional grass bag, which I'll link in the description as well. But basically on the bottom of the grass bag, there are these plastic clips. And then these plastic clips connect to this lower crossbar. Just connect them here and there. And then you take this hook and connect it to this crossbar and you've got a grass bag. Overall, the grass bag does a great job at collecting the majority of the grass clippings, but I will say that some of the clippings get kicked out in front of the mower from the spinning action of the cutting blades. But with that said, I still think that the grass bag is a great accessory for the push wheel mower. The one downside with this type of lawn mower is its inability to cut through really tall grass. What ends up happening is the grass lays flat and the lawnmower rides on top of the grass blades. There's no contact made between the grass blades and the cutting blades. So expect to mow your lawn once a week, maybe once every two weeks during the growing season. And then you could probably get by with mowing every three weeks, maybe once a month in the non-growing season. So with that said, I think the pros of the push reel mower outweigh that one drawback. Just to recap, I like the simple compact design that's easy to store. I like the precision cut that leaves your lawn in great shape when it comes to disease prevention. I like the easy maintenance. I like the easy height adjustment of anywhere between one and three inches. I like that there's an optional grass bag to catch those grass clippings. And then best of all, I like that it is environmentally friendly. There's no engine to maintain, there's no gas to deal with, and there's no electric cords to fuss with. So now that you understand all the reasons why I prefer a push reel mower, let's get it out into the yard so you can see it in action.
After making that first pass with the lawnmower, I always go back in the opposite direction just to make sure that everything has been cut evenly. Once I'm done mowing, I bring out the lawn shears and I clean up the edges around the sidewalk and my brick retaining wall. So that's a wrap for me today. I hope you found this video useful. I've linked the Scott's 20 inch classic push reel mower in the description of this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content related to gardening, landscape, and yard maintenance, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope you find time to get out in your yard.